Welcome everybody. I'm Sarah Devine, White Tiger Qigong Senior Instructor and I have a Masters also in Sport and Exercise Science. White Tiger Qigong is a Qigong that comes from the lineage of ancient Lao Tzu Taoism, the I Ching and classical Chinese medicine which form Taoist medical Qigong and um, an approach of through the modern lens of sports science and biohacking. It's a great combination to help us to be healthy, to heal and to reach maximum human potential. So today we're going to talk about kinetic chains in this week's Chi Bites and learn a little bit about why they're useful for us. This knowledge is useful for us when we're moving in Qigong movements. So what are kinetic chains? Well, they're essentially fixed segments and they're made mobile by the joints. So these fixed segments are different muscle groups and they're held together in myofascial slings. Now we spoke about these pockets of connective tissue when I talked to you about fascia the other week. And then also the, the different the ligaments and the tendons. And together with the joints, they all work together to enable successful movement. So what can go wrong in the kinetic chain? Well, we can get injured, of course, and also we can have inefficient movement patterns. And over time, there can be habits that lead to a compensation in our kinetic chain. Um, if, you, if you like, you can think of it as a kink in a chain. So from a Qigong perspective, this means that we have an energy blockage. And from a traditional Chinese medicine perspective within our Qigong system, we, we understand that deficiency of qi flow can be a foundation of pathology. So in other words, if, if, you, if you don't fix it, it can lead to issues down the track. So that's why we really want to have free flowing kinetic chain movement. So understanding how we use the kinetic chains within Qigong, well, we develop an understanding of, of how one moving part affects another. So that's kind of cool. And then how energy is actually transmitted through the body from the, from the feet up, from the spine, the axis outwards and, and down again. And then also where and how our body parts should ideally be moving through space. So I'm going to introduce to you today one principal action of the primary kinetic chains and this is shock absorption and rebound. So shock absorption is effectively the ability for kinetic energy to wave, I wiggle as I do it because I'm feeling the wave, up through the body joint by joint. So when we do, for example, that classic movement of the wave or dragon back you can see this is being guided through the feet, creating the kinetic energy that's coming up the chain right into my neck and then back down. And of course we live on a, a planet with gravity, don't we? So we're always dealing with force and counterforce. So what better way to move efficiently than to actually learn how, how to be more sensitive to that force? So in Qigong, we can consider it as the, the earth chi being absorbed up through the foot. And for effective movement, we, we want to have an effective impact of the foot with the ground that in a way which then encourages chi to flow smoothly without any kinks. So I'm going to offer you a, a little insight into Tiger Hunts Its Prey today, which is from the Five Animal Qigong, the Winter Road series. First of all, let's have a little warm up. We're going to get into our Zhang Zhuang position. I'll just move back so you can see my feet. Actually, I can come even a little forward. There we go. Then you're going to have the feet shoulder width apart, stretch out your toes, grasp the ground with 10% tension, rock back and forth a little bit. Finding your balance, shifting the weight until you feel that your feet are evenly spread on the ground. You can gently close your eyes for this. Really feel inwards into the foot. And then you can feel a gentle 
pressing down into the ball of the foot and you can visualize you have roots growing through the balls of the feet down into the earth wide and deep just let your hands rest by your side for a moment as we bring our awareness to the ankles and their position above the feet and then the knees in relation to the ankles the knees should be soft sensing into the hips and then the sacrum, the base of the spine, gently dropping the sacrum down. Remember that sit but not sit principle. Then elongating the spine as you pull down from the perineum and up from the crown. It's a delicious opening vertebra by, by vertebra. Exhaling, relaxing the shoulders, bringing the hands onto the lower dantian. Chin tuck back, tongue on the roof of the mouth. Just take a moment to arrive in your body, just scanning from your head down through the body, right down to the feet. Just observing, noting your sensations. Bringing the awareness to the lower dantian beneath the hands, abdominal breathing, inhaling, feeling the swell of the belly, exhaling, feeling the gentle contraction. And then we'll take a long, slow, deep inhalation, and then on exhalation you're going to do the cleansing breath, breathing out through a pinhole in the mouth, releasing stale, stagnant chi, any distracting thoughts, let it go, let's do one more. You can visualize it going down into the earth in a grey mist. And then bring your awareness to your lower dantian. And you want to feel the presence of fire deep inside the belly as you inhale. Feel it expanding as you exhale. Feel this fire becoming so condensed like a hot sun. Stoking the fire. And then you're going to relax the hands down, bring your awareness back outwards and you're going to start shaking it out, bouncing through the feet. So here is your connection to the earth your shock absorption and your rebound. If you try to do this with um, your knees straight, you know, there isn't much rebound going on. So we want to have the knees bent and you can feel how that brings energy up through the body more effectively, through the joints. There are different joints, some stabilise, some mobilise, and they're working together. to make the movements as smooth as possible. This is where you get to check it how you want. See what your body says. You might have a little kink that you need to work out. You can shake into that. Shake a leg if you will. Another one. Bring the hands up again, coming down a bit intensely, moving in front of you, and take a moment to just pulse the ball of chi, inhaling as you expand, exhaling as you condense, feeling into the feet, connect to the shock absorption and the rebound. So as you inhale, and you're pushing down into the feet. This has a rebound effect through the body as you exhale. Everything's softening back down, ready for shock absorption. Rebound, inhale. 
Exhale, shock absorption. One more. And just let the hands hang by the side of your body for a moment. Just sense into the fingers, into the hands, into the palms. Ting, jing, listening in. And notice how even when you're standing supposedly still, you're still using shock absorption and rebound as you inhale a gentle pressure into the foot. The whole body is breathing as you exhale a gentle relaxation. So, tiger hunts its prey. I'm going to move back. So I can come straight forwards to you and just demonstrate this beautiful movement. I'm going to show you again from another angle, so you can really see what's going on with the legs. Tiger, we're working with deep compressions through the middle of the body, but also really opening up the lungs. So let's work on the feet. So you're going to bring your feet together. You're going to sink the weight, turn the right foot out, lift the left leg, and you're going to bring that left leg across to the right side of your body. The knee is bent on the right leg, and the body is counter-twisting. So you're keeping the hips aligned in front of you. Then you're going to place the heel down as far as you can comfortably reach and turn the foot to the left as far as you comfortably can. Then you're going to bring the weight onto more onto the front leg and then stretch through the back. So we've got this shock absorption into the front leg. So the weight is about 60-40. Then we're going to lift as we bring the right leg up across the body, counter twisting the torso, placing the heel down, turning the foot out wide, and then again getting the shock absorption into the front leg, straightening out the back leg. Inhaling as we lift the leg up, exhaling as we place the foot down, turn the feet turn the torso. Let's do one more. Inhaling as we lift the leg up, exhaling as we place the heel, turn the foot, twist the torso. So you can feel that as you lift there's a shock absorption, oops, a rebound. As you place the foot there's a shock absorption. And this shock absorption continues as you straighten up the back leg. There's a rebound through the back leg, shock absorption in the front leg, and then a rebound as you step up. Let's see what's going on with our hands. Well, we've got tiger claws, and tiger claws are looser than five element tiger claws. So these claws, are the, we've got a gentle bend in the first and second joints of the fingers. And you're going to open with the claws facing up and then you're going to bring your right arm up in front of your forehead and your left is at the hip and then as you turn the torso towards the left you're going to be straightening the left arm and looking back at that left hand as you come out of it you're going to turn the body back to centre and turn the hand at the same time. So you're coiling the arm, rotating that arm, 
outwards, looking forwards for your prey, and then looking down as you swap the hands over. So there's one at the hip, one up above, not too high now, just around by the forehead or a little bit higher is okay. Twisting as you straighten the arm downwards, looking down at that hand. Inhaling as you come back and you counter twist opening up, rotating open this arm. Now this is really a whistle stop go of this animal, I know. Coming over across the other way, coiling, and then turning as you come out of it one last time, swapping over the arms, one at the hip, one by the forehead, and then straightening that lower arm, and you're looking down at that hand, and then you come out of it by countercoiling through the torso, turning, rotating the arm outwards, looking forwards for your prey, and then back down again. So as we go along, I want you to become really mindful of how your feet are creating this shock absorption and rebound effect as you're moving. We can do this same movement next week when I build upon this concept. So you'll have another go. Let's inhale and exhale to prepare. Turn out your right foot, sink your weight, lift your claws, turn the claws, bring the foot across, rotate the, the uh, toes, coil the body to the side, straighten the lower arm. Inhale as you counter coil back to center, turning that front arm. Bringing the weight now, continuing the inhalation onto the other leg. Exhaling as you place the heel, turn the toes, and you straighten the, leg, the arm down. You feel that coil deep in the body, and you feel this shock absorption going into the front leg, and a rebound of pulling upwards on the back leg. Inhaling to center. Now you're getting a rebound as you lift and then a shock absorption as you place the foot, coil the body, this deep rotation, really massaging the organs, inhaling as you counter coil, and then you get the rebound. Let's do another one. Exhaling as you place the foot, turn the feet, straightening the back leg, Pressing into the front leg, so you've got that wonderful shock absorption in the front leg. Inhaling to centre. I'm going to come back a little bit and we'll keep going, just a couple more. I don't have to start again. So lifting, stepping over, pressing into the front leg, extending through the back leg, so you've got this balance of shock absorption in the front and rebound in the back. Counter coiling as you come out of it. Exhaling as you step down. And coil and press into the front leg, open through the back leg. Inhale as you counter coil. And coming into closing. So inhaling up. Exhaling. Flushing out sadness and grief from the lungs. Right down through the feet. And now as we exhale, this time we're going to draw in a sense of joy. And you can always just turn up the corners of your mouth. This really helps bringing in sensation of joy and happiness. One more time, we're going to bring in the colour white, white gold, the element of metal. Feel this colour moving downwards, wrapping gently around the lungs, stepping out into your zhan chuang, feet shoulder width apart. Taking a moment now 
completely relaxed, sensing into your body. See if you can feel the different pulses in the body. You can feel sensation in the hands, in the shoulders, in the lungs, around the waist, through the feet. Bring the hands to rest on the lower dantian and connect with a pearl of white gold. Feel this pearl expanding as you inhale, compressing as you exhale. And take a moment bringing your awareness back outwards to the periphery to just give yourself a quick chi shower. Bringing the palms onto the eyes, taking a deep inhalation then gently massaging the face across the scalp, tapping on the scalp. I'm doing this a bit quicker than normal but you get the picture. Rubbing through the neck, tapping through the chest, tapping down the arms. Smoothing out the cheek. Coming down around the guts, lower abdomen, down the front of the legs. By the side of the shin, inside, buttocks, kidneys, buttocks, back of the leg, side of the body. Taking a moment, bringing the hands as close as you can to the feet, slowly rolling up. So that was a whistle-stop investigation of shock absorption and rebound in Tiger 1. Sorry, Tiger 3. Tiger hunts its prey. If you like this tiger, join me next week because we'll continue investigating kinetic chains and we'll look at coiling and uncoiling and the role of breath within the kinetic chain movement. And we will... Um, what will we do? I don't know. I hopefully you will practice. <laughs> Maybe you can practice it. What I did want to say was that you can find these forms in, in uh, at whitetigerqigong.com in online courses. And I think there's a special offer actually at the moment on the five animal qigong course. So it's like 50% off, I do believe. So it's a really good deal. You can find out more about me at Sarah Divine Qigong or my Facebook page uh, by the same name and Instagram. I look forward to seeing you next time. Let's bow out. Thank you for joining me today. Until then.